Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to burn Linux 18, or any version of Linux really, to a USB drive so that you can install Linux on your computer. So, if you want to pick up Linux 18 specifically, I'm going to have this link down below in the description. Currently it's in more of its beta build, it's not officially out yet, but it is available for you to try, and that's the one we're going to be burning here today. So, grab that if you need. And the tool we're going to be using to burn the USB is called Rufus, which you can pick up at rufus.akeo.ie. I'll also include the link uh, in the description. And once you have that downloaded and the disk image for Ubuntu or your operating system of choice, we want to go ahead and start Rufus up. So Rufus, it downloads as an executable and it doesn't need any install. You just find the executable and you double click it to open it up. Now, if you have a USB drive already popped into your computer, it should show up as a drive here. As you can see in Windows Explorer, I have the USB drive recognized by my computer. So if you don't see a USB drive on this list, make sure it's hooked into your computer by a USB port and make sure it shows up in Windows Explorer. So I'm going to take this USB drive and we're going to leave the default partition scheme, uh, MBR partition scheme for BIOS and, or UEFI, or UEFI. Um, that's usually just fine because it supports both options there. File system, left default as NTFS. Cluster size can be defaulted as well. Now volume label, that's going to be the name it's going to have when you pop the USB drive into your computer. So I'm going to call it Ubuntu 18 because I want it to reflect what's actually on the drive. And um, let's see here. The last thing we really need to take care of is create a bootable disk using ISO image. There's a selection option over here on the right, so we need to click that. And then we find on our computer where the Linux ISO image is for the Linux version we want, in this case Ubuntu. So I'm going to double click this Bionic desktop, and it's going to load it in here. Now, if everything goes well, it should say ready down here at the bottom. If you want to be extra sure that uh, when you do burn the image to the drive, there's no issues, you can check device bad blocks here. Um, which is just extra testing that might let you know if there's an issue, but usually I don't need that, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit start here. So in this case, it's also saying that I need to update the syslinux for the installation files, so we can just go ahead and hit yes here. Um, no problems with updating that. So after this download is done, we're going to get this pop-up where it will say write in ISO image mode or write in DD image mode. Uh, either should work, but I'm going to stick to the recommended. And the final confirmation, it will wipe all data on the device out. So make sure that when you're doing this, that you don't have any files that you're going to miss because those won't be there after you reformat it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here because I know it's already empty. And you let it take care of itself for a little while. Now to actually install Linux once it's done burning, you need to reboot your computer with the USB drive attached and to boot into the USB drive, um, usually it's some combination of F keys on your keyboard, like F12, F10, F11, or Escape, but it depends on computer to computer, so you might need to look up a little bit more information for that. But that's how you burn Ubuntu or any Linux OS to a disk on Windows. So I hope this video was helpful. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.